Praise the Lord, fellow memorizers. This is day 43 and day 44 of M90's memorization challenge. 90 days, 90 scriptures. And we're in John chapter 11, and this is the exciting conclusion of the verses that we're memorizing for John chapter 11. Um, so let's start with review. Uh, we, we've done verses 1, verse 17, verse 21, and 25 of John chapter 11 so far. And we're going to top it off here today with verses 43 and 44. So let's review. Uh, verse 1 sets the narrative here. Now a certain man was sick, named Lazarus, of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. And verse 17 was, Then when Jesus came, he found that he had lain in the grave four days already. And verse 22 then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. In verse 25, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the light. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. <laughs> Good stuff here. And today we see that conclusion of God's miraculous power. Sometimes we think God doesn't answer our prayers. Sometimes we're not healed when we go up to get prayed for. Sometimes it feels like in our carnal minds, God is not listening. But take this to the bank. He's always listening. He's always listening. He's always listening. Sometimes we need to grow our trust in him. Remember that nothing is too far from being resurrected, especially for God. So let's do our verse today. John chapter 11, verse 43. And tomorrow's verse is verse 44. Um, so let's do the both of them together. John chapter 11, 43. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And verse 44. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound about him with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Loose him and let him go. <laughs> How good, amen. Uh, verse 43, he, he makes the miracle happen. In verse 44, we see God is miraculous. He does heal. He also has some work for us to do after we're healed. He tells them, Loose him and let him go. Later on, we hear that this is a tough job for people to do, but um, I want you to do this here today. Make a list of things, some things that God, th that well, maybe some things that need God's miraculous intervention in your life. It could be a healing. It could be a bringing together of a family again. It could be a restoration. Whatever it is that's miraculous, go ahead, make a list. Write it down. Remember, even if he doesn't heal it, it doesn't mean he can't resurrect it. Praise the Lord. Take care, everybody. Keep on mesmerizing. And as always, stay good.